Hi, fellow sports lovers, and welcome to another episode of Do 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 Time Out, a show anybody can watch about sports, stats, facts, and everything in between, from a fan point of view. I'm your host, Charlie, so let's go get this ball rolling. Time Out. Let's talk about some sports. How did I miss that? Okay, fellow sports lovers, that's right. Don't adjust your TV. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Football season is back, baby. Yeah. Now, I know, I know, it's just preseason, I get it, I get it, but that just means that soon, very, very soon, the regular season will begin. But for now, it's football. So, so unfortunately, I can't talk about every single game that's going on right now, but here are my top choices for that I watched this weekend. Okay, to start off the preseason, do 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 do. <laughs> On Thursday night football, we had my Chicago Bears versus my baby and her whole family, as well as the pretty much the whole state of Florida's team, the Miami Dolphins. Woo! As the Bears bear down and roar, roar away, a victory with 27 to 10 victory. Woo Go Bears! On Friday Night Lights, we had rookie Marcus Mariota. We had Marcus Mariota. And the Tennessee Titans, with the Tennessee Titans getting swooped away by the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, with Matty Ice and his Falcons getting a win in ATL. 31, that's right, 31 to 24. Also on Friday night, we had the Broncos. The Denver Broncos riding into the sunset beating the Seattle Seahawks with a 22 to 20 victory. And on Saturday afternoon, we also got to see rookie quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Mr. Jameis Winston, got told courtesy of the Minnesota Vikings that welcome to the NFL. Um, as the Vikings got a victory in Minnesota, beating the Bucks 26 to 16. And finally, Sunday afternoon, we had the showdown in Philly, as the Philly Eagles soared into victory lane with a 36 to 10 victory over the Colts. Time out. Let's talk about this. Okay, fellow sports lovers, man, I know this sports lover is so excited that woo football season is back, baby, yes! So let's go ahead and start it off with the Chicago Bears versus the Miami Dolphins. Oh man, with an absolutely beautiful day in Chi-Town, and last year the Finns destroying my Bears, even though, I know, even though this was a fun preseason game, the Bears still had to let the Finns know it's go time. And this year, you're in the Bear Cage with the Dolphins. With the Dolphins starting it off with in the first quarter with Ryan Superstar Tannehill throwing a two, that's right, two-yard pass to Mr. Jarvis Landry to get a 
touchdown! Woohoo! With only six minutes and 59 seconds left in the first. Then in the second, second, second quarter, the Superman kicker, Robbie, do, 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 do. <laughs> Gold of the Bears gets a 48, that's right, fellow sports lovers, 48 yard field goal in nine minutes and nine seconds left. And then the Dolphins' own super stud kicker, Caleb Sturgis, then plays repeat and gets a field goal in with 31, that's right, 31 yard at one minute and two seconds left in the quarter. And then in the third, third, third quarter, the Bears kicker showed up to play with nine minutes and nine seconds left. He kicks a 23, that's right, 23 fell sports lovers field goal, as well as a 21 yard field goal after that with three minutes and 13 seconds left. And then Mr. Clawson, the second string for the for the Bears quarterback gave that last roar to Miami as they got Sensor Parimi as the, as the Bears throw a perfect, that's right, perfect spiral to Kadeem Carey for a touchdown. And then the master and head bear, Mr. O oh, Captain My Captain, John Fox, tells Clawson to do a two point conversion which he does complete, which is pretty awesome to see the Bears doing two-point conversions, to A.J. Cruz. In the fourth, that's right, fourth, fourth, fourth quarter, the Bears really had their kicker working really hard for his job. Uh, with 13 minutes and 25 seconds left, Robbie, superstar, gold kicker, got a 27, that's right, 27-yard field goal. And to give that Last roar to Miami. Mr. Perry gets up from the Bears, gets a 54, that's right, 54 yard run to end the game, 27 to 10. And the victory in Chi-Town. The next game that we're gonna be talking about is the Atlanta Falcons hosting the Tennessee Titans. Oh man, was this a Pretty intense game, fell sports lovers. In the first, first, first quarter, it was all about them birds. As Matty Superstar Ice passes the ball to his superstar sidekick, Julio Jones, who at 10 minutes and 10 seconds gets a touchdown in the, in the first quarter. But the birds were just getting started, man with their own kicker, Matt Bryant, getting a 45, that's right, 45 yard field goal. Then to end the first, that's right, first quarter, and to put a little bit more salt in wound to the Titans, rookie Marcus Mariota, um, who actually had the ball for all sports lovers and was going for the hike and just, oh no, slipped and it kind of dropped. Um, and then number 55 of the Falcons, Paul Warello, defensive end, gets a 14-yard, that's right, 14-yard fumble return to get a touchdown for the Falcons. Oh, man, in the second, that's right, second quarter, the Titans tried their hardest to fight back with their own kicker, Dexter McCluster, getting a six-yard run, but in the end, the six yard run for a touchdown for the Titans. And then in five minutes and 34 seconds, Zach Mettenberger, remember him, the quarterback last year, decided to take a couple selfies, uh, passes a 30 yard pass to Rico Richardson for a touchdown in one minute and 37 seconds. And then the Falcons got a little frustrated on that one, so they brought out their superstar, Antonio Smith, who was able to get a one-yard run as well as a two-point conversion. And then with only 16 seconds left in the quarter, Ryan Scoop, the Tennessee Titans kicker, gets a 28, that's right, 28-yard field goal. 
But in the end, it was all about ATL and them birds. As in the fourth, fourth, fourth quarter, with seven minutes and 35 seconds left, fell sports lovers, Michael Ford of the Falcons gets a touchdown, ending the score 31 to 24. Then, Friday night, what a showdown we had. Woohoo! With the Denver Broncos hosting versus the Seattle Seahawks. Oh man. With Brock what Brock Osweiler at the helm, not Peyton Manning for the Broncos, and starting off, the game started off kicker versus kicker. Uh, with Connor Berth of the Broncos getting a 28, that's right, 28 yard field goal in 12 minutes and 21 seconds. And then the Seahawks own kicker, Steve Hachusek, gets a 33, that's right, 33 yard goal. And then Broncos own Brandon McManus gets a 52, that's right, 52 yard goal in. In the second, second, second quarter, Broncos own Kicker Connor Berth steps it up again and gets a 23, 23-yard field goal in. And then the Seahawks super stud, Mr. Tyler Lockett, locks in a win and gets a 103. That's right, I said 103 fell sports lovers yard kickoff return as he goes. Do 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 do. <laughs> Off to the racers. Woohoo! Getting a touchdown in only 11 minutes and 33 seconds into the second quarter. Man, this game was so intense, fellow sports lovers. And then the Broncos' own kicker, Brandon Makusa, at 7 minutes and 34 seconds, gets a 44, that's right, 44 yard field goal. And to end the quarter, Virgil Green of the Broncos gets a 17 yard pass from Mr. Brock Osweiler with 48, that's right, only 48 seconds left. In the third, third, third quarter, it was all about the Seahawks. As kicker Hakushik gets a 24, that's right, 24 yard field goal. In the fourth, fourth, fourth quarter, it was tug and war, tug of war, back and forth action. As the Broncos started it off with their kicker, Brandon McNannis, getting a 23-yard goal in. And then the Seahawks tried to end the game with Thomas Rawls getting a 19-yard pass from the second-string quarterback, Archer. But it wasn't enough. The Broncos got away without the Sheriff, without Mr. Payne Manning, with a 22-20 victory in the Hawks' nest. Uh, and then, finally, the last game we'll be discussing about today is the Eagles. Do 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 Philadelphia Eagles versus the Indianapolis Colts. Man, was this an intense game. Uh, with In the first, first, first quarter, superstar kicker, the Superman, Adam Vinatieri, gets a 32-yard field goal to start it off. And then the Eagles started soaring in. In three minutes and 27 seconds, quarterback Mark Sanchez throws a 34, that's right, 34-yard pass to Nelson Aguilar for a touchdown. Then in 46 seconds, Ken John Burner gets a nine-yard run for the Eagles. In the second, second, second quarter, it was all about Philly. As kicker Cody Parquet gets a 40, that's right, 40 yard field goal in. And then Ken John Vernon steps it up again and gets a, really steps it up and gets a 92, that's right, fellow sports lovers, 92 yard punt return. For a touchdown in the third, third, third quarter, the Eagles started scratching and clawing at these Colts as Cody Parker stepped it up again with a 48-yard field goal. And then in seven minutes and eight seconds, 
the Colts really tried to come back with their nine yard run from Josh Robinson. But in the fourth, fourth, fourth quarter, it was all about Philadelphia and them Eagles with Cody Parker getting a 40, that's right, 40 yard field goal to end the day with a victory in Philly. By the way, Philly's newest quarterback, Mr. Tim Tebow, definitely got to show up this weekend and got a seven, that's right, seven yard run to end the game to be exact, 36 to 10. Wow, Tim Tebow, you still got it and man, was that a lot of intense football this weekend. Extra, extra, read all about it, hot off the presses, Okay, fellow sports lovers, so here's what's happening in the NFL, the NFL this weekend. So the la in the last two, that's right, two seasons, we have all heard about the rumors that Percy Harving, Doug Baldwin, and Golden Tate all had beef each other while they were in Seattle. Well, the rumors are actually true, fellow sports lovers, um, with Harving going to the Buffalo Bills, as you fellow sports lovers and timeout lovers know, um, and speaking to the Buffalo News, actually, and telling them that Perry was basically picked on as a Seahawk uh, by Doug Baldwin and as well as Golden Tate. Now, um, as Percy Harvin missing a lot of games because of many different injuries, of course, um, he wasn't able to go to a lot of practices. And because of this, fellow sports lovers, is why Tate, well, Tate actually now leaving and going to the Detroit Lions, uh, but Doug Baldwin basically took out his frustration on Mr. Percy Harvin. Uh, as Mr. Doug Baldwin's nickname in the locker room is Angry Doug, he decided to use Percy as well as different, um, use Percy as a, as a weapon and teaching the Seahawks not to mess with him. Um, basically using Mr., basically using Mr. Harving as a rag doll, um, and who he'd just pick on whenever he felt like it. Uh, with Percy Harving now being a Bill, he couldn't be happier to be on a team that he respects, respects him for himself, as well as his incredible talents. Well, that's my show, fellow sports lovers. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to go ahead and like it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up like button. Or, if you really feel what I'm talking about, then why haven't you subscribed yet? Or you can leave me a message below the video here. And don't forget to leave me a comment on social media, on Facebook at Charles Cowan Timeout, as well as leave me a tweet on Twitter and Periscope as well. I'm very active on the Periscope app on Timeout Now 87. Until next time. Time out. Let's talk about some sports. Woo it was a great weekend for football. Can't wait to talk about it next week. Have a great weekend, guys.